sound like a broken record, but the magic figure here is 2%. That's where the Fed wants us before they start cutting the interest rate. And right now we're almost double that at 3.8%. So the Fed cutting the interest rate in the first six months of this year, well, right the second doesn't seem likely. Now, why this is a concern is because that 3.8% is what we call the core price index. And that's actually excluding volatile products such as food and energy that usually fluctuates that number. So the main takeaway here is that inflation is hard to get under control. This takes time, but it doesn't mean we'll see the rate increase. That's the good news. It just means the rates may need to stay where they are for longer than we expected to get everything under control. So here are some things to keep in mind when it comes to your money and why it's happening. Housing prices have still increased, and with that, interest rates are high. So year over year, yes, they've increased. But if you ask, if you compare 2019 before the pandemic, to today and adjust wages for inflation in the Cincinnati metro area, they're down, they're not up. Mm -hmm. We're talking even nationally over that four year period, once adjusted for inflation, wages are up maybe one and a half percent. But that means that a lot of people got no wage increase at all. So some other things to keep in mind here. Energy prices rose in February despite months of decline. That's why you're finding airfares higher than usual, paying more to fill up at the pump. And food prices did hold steady from January to February, but they're still up year over year. But what we need to remember here with food prices, there's a lot of outside factors like avian flu, for example, that wiped out flocks of chickens and the supply couldn't meet the demand. So those prices increased. And one thing I want to address because I've gotten some emails on this insurance costs are rising for a lot of people, but this isn't directly correlated to inflation at all. This is just really awful timing. Natural disasters like the fires in Texas and an increase in property crime are driving insurance companies to recoup money that they're losing. So will we see some relief when it comes to interest rates as early as June? Based off this report, it doesn't seem likely, but as always, we have to wait and see. Cassie Arsenal, Local 12 News. Local 12 has more consumer stories just like this. Don't forget to click the links and press subscribe.